Okay, so I'm going to do a barbecue and I've got a few barbecue tips which um, might be very obvious to you. This is my mini barbecue. First, you want to make sure uh, your barbecue is clean. And what I usually do, you know, I've got a few spider webs, I just get my hoover. Anyway, so I've cleaned my barbecue, and then I've got this um, chimney, this barbecue chimney, which is quite helpful to get the coals going. And I'm gonna pour some coals in there. I don't, ideally don't really want black hands, so I'm gonna use my lovely yellow washing up gloves to start this thing going. And scrunch up some paper in there as well. These are actually, it's actually proofs from my last book, my kitchen notebook. So uh, I'm recycling my paper for barbecues. You can hear the neighbors. <laughs> it's seven in the morning, I'm doing a barbecue. Oh, dear me. Welcome to the world of Rachel Koo's YouTube videos. Okay, that looks pretty good. and you just let this burn off until the coals actually start to light. Oh, I'm gonna get so smoked. <laughs> so just let that go for about half an hour and then you can just tip it into your barbecue. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm gonna go prep my other things. A bit of theme going on in my home. I like this color. Anyway, another thing you really want to make sure is your grill is cleaned. And I have this amazing scrubbing barbecue device, but just some hot water and some washing up liquid will do the job. This one's fairly clean. This is where I was clever. With the last barbecue, I cleaned it off after the barbecue instead of waiting a year to clean it. And that's the way to do it. So if you clean it off while it's still a little bit warm, it's easier to come off. So my other tips for a barbecue, I have these fire safety gloves. They're pretty good, nifty to have. I'm gonna tip these coals out because they're nice and hot. a few more on. Pop the grill on. There you go. Just going to let that settle down. The coal's in the barbecue, the grill's on. I'm just going to get my food I want to put on the barbecue. Another little tip is to have a tray to put all your utensils on. It means everything is in one spot and you don't have to look and try and find everything. This is a really handy tool to have for barbecue. So cheap fan can generate some air, get the air circulating, which will make the flames bigger. 